Welcome back everyone, Joe here, Joe's Outdoor Experience. I have my Uncle John, he's here with me right now. We have the backhoe attachment on my Mahindra 1626 on as we speak. We're fully lubricated, we did a pre-trip before we came out. Everything's good to go, everything's greased up. So what I would hope to do is be able to back this Mahindra up to this area here and start kind of cutting away at this uh, side of the hill here so we can back in and go that extra I'm gonna say 50 feet it might be a little less might be a little bit more so we'll kind of get to it and then we'll walk it off from uh, from this tree we'll call it back that way so if you guys don't mind stick around hang out with us enjoy this little project we got going on hopefully nothing breaks but you know can't promise that if you like this sort of thing if you hit the thumbs up button it's right there it doesn't cost you nothing it helps out the channel tremendously i'd greatly appreciate that if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing my name is joe we're here on my parents six acre property in north carolina and uh, we're trying to build this access road around the back end of the property this is the furthest back portion of their property so that uh, hopefully i get a tree stand hung within the next day or so You got about six feet on that reach? I think so, right? It, it's going. I think maybe should I turn around and come in with the other side? I think, I think you should, yeah. Uh
me. Come forward. That's it. Big boulder right there. that boulder right there. See, it's shiny, I thought it was gold. Oh, was it a bottom? <laughs> no, it's just a rock. Come this way first, one more time. Don't put it down yet, I'll tell you when to put it down. Just come come towards me, I'll tell you when to put the, the, bas the basket down. Keep coming. You wanna move this rock over, right? I was gonna use the back side. Okay. I was gonna try to dig it out again. Okay.
Okay. Sounds good. Oh, you got the hang of it now. Yeah. You opened up about a good three feet. Yeah. That's why I want to, I want to be on this hillside. Oh, watch out. Anything? Nah, not really. No. Scoop it up. Oh. I know that big rock is here somewhere. There's one here, but the other one's there. Scoop it up. There you go.
coming this Saturday. Yep. You got more room now.
I brought you in and I started messing around with it when I was doing the implement challenge and I started right around here and this is about where I ended was about here was about I don't know 10 feet or so maybe and then today Uncle John and I just blasted this out as you can see we dug out quite a bit I'll try to show you guys for reference the height that's about six foot worth of that hillside that we dug up and uh as we go down you see uncle john over here that's the original trail right down there and we brought all this backfill in uh we're not by any means professionals at this but we had a lot of fun doing it and i really really appreciate my uncle for help but there's the original trail down here uh again you guys can't see for reference uh here uncle john you mind taking this real quick I'm going down there. i'll go down i'll go down So for reference, as you guys will see, let me shut the tractor off. You guys hear us a little better. Yeah, perfect, that's good, thank you. So as you guys see, Uncle John's down there. That was the original trail. And uh, Uncle John's like 5'8", almost six foot himself. And uh, as you see, that's about his about his chest if not his chin height down there and as you guys can see here that's everything guys that's the mahindra 1626 with the 1626 l and the 1620 that's like a tongue twister the 1626 l and the 1626 b which is the backhoe uh we've been out here for about three and a half hours you got it we've been out here for about three and a half hours it's a nice cool day. This is the end of the actual property line here. Uh, right there, I sprayed it purple. It goes in a little bit more, but we've been, uh, we get beat up with this section. So right here is where I'm gonna end it. Eventually for the quads and ATVs, we'll probably pick a spot and go up uh, somewhere before this. But um, for right now, in the next few days, I'm gonna come back out here. Uh, I gotta pick the, path of least resistance especially what's not going to be the crunchiest but we're going to come in here this looks like a deer trail that i'm on now so we're probably not going to use this trail and uh here let me find a better spot to go most likely take the chainsaws out cut some of this get the friskers out over here so this is our or rather this is my parents posted sign right here and we keep going back a little bit further, but I'm thinking is to get a, bring one of those two man stands, putting it on this tree, on this tree right here. And then uh, probably dumping some sort of corn uh, over in this area over here. And that's a massive spider, so. It's about as far as I'm going. So this is nice and open, but this will be a nice secluded little area that uh, we can put one of them climber stands in. So I'll probably get back here with those friskers, hopefully in the next few days. And uh, this coming Saturday, I'm hoping to get out here and start hunting. So it'll be, uh, it'll be very, very nice. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. Again, my name is Joe. We're here at my parents' six acre property in North Carolina. If you like this sort of thing, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It truly helps out a lot. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you don't, if you are not subscribed, we'd love to have you back. Please consider subscribing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you're looking into a tractor, uh, we're not sponsored by. We purchased that one 100%. That is a Mahindra 1626. We have the loader. We have the backhoe. We have an Ironcraft brush cutter. We also have the Ironcraft root grapple uh, and a few other little implements. Nothing too, too crazy. That's my first tractor ever. So thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a good one. Bye.